enter from the beginning. Dr. Ahmed, the first question. May you answer, please? Okay, Mr. For over 40 years, Laurie Anderson has appropriated the electronics, video, and sound to create art that defies characterization. Okay. okay. Why here are you going to take D? It's easy, actually. Uh, what okay. this? Uh, let's see. We have oh, end here. Man. Yeah. So X, comma, Y, y comma, and, and Z. And Z. Don't forget that. So now we need to match. We have to the same matching. So if you're going to look after, you have here a comma. Then to create. Do you need a comma here? No. Okay. We don't need a comma. Do you need a comma before and after to create? No. We don't need because actual sound to create. If you're going to just leave to create between two commas, that means it's not essential. So the sense is going to be like that. Appropriated electronics, comma, video, comma, and sound art that defies characterization, that will not give us meaning. So this is wrong. Do you need a comma after create? Create what? We need the object. So it's going to be wrong. So the right thing is going to be without punctuation. Clear, Dr. Ahmed? Dear Mr. I have just a question. Yes. Uh, where are uh, our marks of the last exam? I pull for you the marks of the previous one, the right? Uh, yes, I haven't received any. Yeah, because because actually I didn't check it for Adam, uh, Omar, and Ziad. Because of that, I'm so late. So I checked for them the previous before the one that we took it last time. You got it? Because you were okay. the one only that take the mark. Okay, miss. Why today, inshallah, I'm going to just send for you the mark of this one. Inshallah. Okay. Let's find this. And with Engineer Omar. Don't forget Engineer Omar. That there is a semicolon. And we know that the semicolon is going to be used between two independent clauses. Or if we have many commas, you're going to change that main comma to semicolon. May you read, please, and find? Okay. Uh, by con, uh, Anderson by ignited con her career, semicolon. Okay. Huh? By conducting a uh, symphony, symphony using only a car. Horn. Uh, or okay. As we said, the, the semicolon is going to be between two independent. The problem now, Engineer Omer, that we have here, this is independent. Why? Because it has subject, Anderson. We have ignited it, the verb. But this is not independent clause because no subject, no verb. So F is wrong. Why G is wrong? Engineer Omer, why G is wrong? Mr. Your, uh, your voice is lagging. I'm asking you why G is wrong. Okay. Uh, she is wrong. Uh, uh, he want he want only to say Anderson. Okay. Then he's going to put to ignite her career. Where is the verb? If you're going to do like that, where is the verb? You got it? No, okay. Where is the verb? And don't forget that this is going to be prepositional phrase because it's the right one. Prepositional phrase. And we never, we never put before the prepositional phrase a comma. We never be put before the prepositional <laughs> phrase a comma. If it comes in the beginning, only you put after it a comma. So this is wrong. Because we're not going to have a verb. Where is the verb? Anderson did what? Nothing. We don't have any verb. No verb. So this is wrong. Why H is wrong? Uh, no, verb. no verb. Perfect. No verb. Igniting here is not a verb. 
Here it's a gerund. The act is a noun or is an adjective. J is the right one. Anderson, the subject, ignited the verb, her career. And as we said, we don't put before prepositional phrase any comma. So nothing here. Clear, Engineer Omer? Clearest. Okay. Streamer Adam, are you ready or still? It's 11 minutes now. I'm ready. Okay. Now it's vocabulary. And we need to find the suitable word to give us the meaning. You can look at the word and find the connotation as we said before, which one is positive, which one is negative. And you can do the elimination. If you can't find like this, so you're going to depend on the context clue. May you find out? Do you find anything positive here? Clones, duplicates, doubles, copies. I think all of them positive. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so look at the sentence to find which one is going to be subtle. Read it, please. Okay. Five years later, she invented a violin that as an audio tape player. Okay. Because you are a musician and they know that. So mm. now we have five years later, she invented a violin that. We need now something that is going to be made by the violin. Clear? And here he gives you an example okay. as an audio tape player. So we need also to know the audio tape player do what? Is clones or duplicate because all of them had the same meaning. Clones, duplicates, doubles, or copies. Mm -hmm. I think it, 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 it would not be copies actually copy. from the beginning. I'm going to delete copies. And there's not going to be clones because clones act especially to human beings. So we have duplicates and doubles. What do you think? The edutape, did you hear about edutape before? Edutape player? Actually, no. You don't hear about it. Okay, if we're talking about the violin as a, music, mm -hmm. as a musical tool, is it going to duplicate or double? It's double. Double, yes. It mm -hmm. would not duplicate because there is a difference between double and duplicate. Duplicate something. But here you know that the violin will double the sound. Clear? Mm, yes. Okay. Let's go with Engineer Ziad. Engineer Ziad number four. Uh, and take care. That there is and. The problem with and every time that we're going to look at parallelism. Read, please. Uh, Aderson went on to stage. Uh, technology uh, enhanced performance, enhanced performance art, performance art to the direct music videos and tools to ma man manipulate sound. Okay, manipulate sound. the same rule of number one, x, comma, y, comma, and z. Engineers yet? Look, number one and number four talk about the same thing. But here directly talk about that. Let's find. He said what? Anderson went on stage technology enhanced performance art. Enhanced performance art. Okay. Direct music video. So take care. To stage. So two plus verb or two plus infinitive. Here also is infinitive. Because we must say to direct music video. And here also infinitive. So I need an infinitive. Infinitive is a form of a verb that come after two. So which one here is going to be the right? Not the invention of and no inventing because the invention is noun. Invention is noun. Inventing is gerent or participle that acts as an adjective or as a noun. So now we have to invent or invent. But I know that the first one come to stage, but the second one he he omitted two. No, here two. He canceled two. So the third he must to cancel two. Clear engineers yet? Clear yeah, must. Do you know if he said two stage, two direct? So here is gonna be two invent. 
Thank you, Engineer Zia. Dr. Ahmed again, number five. Yeah, I just have a kind of blame on you. I put the record private just to see who's watching it. No one of you. No one of you did watch it. It's zero. So that means that you don't return back to our session together to know, to correct yourself. And there's a big mistake that you're doing. All the private sessions that I put it privately, no one watch it. It's zero. Well, the public, yes, many, because they are not you that watch the others. Why are you not watching, Dr. Ahmed? Well, Mr. Uh, I should have watched. I should have known better. I think it's just my fault. Okay. What about you, Engineer Omar? Mm, I don't know. You don't know. You don't like YouTube. You are not listening to Hanai. Okay. Streamer Adam. You're not. Why are you not watching? Um, actually, uh, I watched some. No, I'm going to open it for you. List. The bubble, the, the one is specific or private. No one watch it from you. The public is many, but I don't know. I'm not going to just be a magician to tell you who watch it because many people start entering to the group and find it. So kindly turn back and watch, please. Engineer Ziad, why are you not watching? I know this one, the Mr. Amda, you will uh, correct it. Please, please return back to the session because it's so important. Why I'm recording it for you to keep it as a kind of evidence to return back for it as a kind of record that you're going to find it later, just to know about your mistakes. Okay, number five, Dr. Ahmed. And it looks like a writing question. Mm -hmm. Which choice provides the most effective transition from first two sentences to the paragraph to the rest of the paragraph? Okay. He, does, he, does, he just talked about which kind of sentence ran it. Now, he said the effective transition from the first two sentences of the paragraph so he means those two, okay, okay. to the next part of the, uh, okay, to the next part. Clear? So let's read the first two sentences to know what they are going to talk about, to know the main idea, and then we're going to find if this connected to it or not. Mary, please. Okay. She found her inspiration in how technology has de developed over time. When Anderson was growing up in the 1950s, space travel and artificial intelligence existed only in science fiction stories. Okay, uh, let's so find the keywords. Let's find the keywords first that we are going to okay. depend on it in these two sentences. Here he said she found her inspiration in how technology has developed over time. When Anderson was growing up in the 1950s, Space travel and artificial intelligence existed only in science fiction stories. Okay, let's go here and depend on that one. Mm -hmm. Read now this. A half century later at NASA, Anderson witnessed the realization of both. What both here? Does he mean here space travel and artificial intelligence for both? Yes. Okay, so maybe this is right. Let's look at B and start to eliminate. In fact, science fiction masters like Ray Bradbury and Isaac Asimov uh, received much acclaim for their work at this time. We're not talking here of science fiction, right? We don't talk about yes. the actors even. Okay, mm -hmm. C. Anderson, who grew up in Chicago, studied classical violin as a child. We're talking about space travel, artificial intelligence, and science fiction stories. Why he start talking about violence? So I'm going to cancel it. D. NASA has grown considerably since it was established in 1958. We're not talking about NASA as an organization here. The main thing for us, that space travel and artificial intelligence until that time wasn't anything. But now it starts. Later it starts. So it's the best answer is going to be A. The right? Yes. Okay. Streamer Adam, the session that uh, you were absent in, the last session, it was a test. It was on Saturday. 
No, the session that I I couldn't attend was an explanation. I the I one that want, the one that you the went to Sahar al Sharir. No, no, the oh. one that you went to Sahar al Sharir. It was uh, Saturday. Just revise, but no problem. The main thing that you watch something, and I wish that you watch all the video. Just return back to it. Okay. Okay. Uh. Okay, Engineer Omar, number six, please. Okay. Read, please. Okay, so During? During a visit to a virtual... A circuit, virtual? A very... Okay, uh, Airport Control Center? Airport Control Centers and... Uh, and Are there so, okay? Uh, of, of the red currency. Okay, let's look here, Engineer Omar. What we have during a visit, you are lagging, Engineer Omar. You're lagging, I think. During a visit to a virtual airport control center, we know that this is a modifier, prepositional phrase. Who is visiting Anderson? So, this is the subject clear. This is the subject. Now I need a verb. I need a verb and maybe an object. If you're going to look here, we're going to find many verbs. I have viewed. I have eyeballed. I have beheld. I have oddly. All of them are verbs. All of them are verbs. But the problem here, he said, of the red planet. And we know that the red planet is Mars. Clear? The red planet is Mars. Do you think that we can use now shorter is better? Engineer Omar? Yes. Um, we can uh, use shorter is better and we can use which one is formal because actually we eliminate anything that is informal. Number one, if we're going to look at the informal, I bold is informal. I bold informal. So thank you. I bold informal. Okay, be held. No, it's it's formal. Okay, mm. the other word, oogle. Oogle means to glance, to look with Amber's invitation or challenge. Like you are exciting to look. So it's also formal. Ogle. Yes. So now let's find which one is shorter. He reviewed panor panoramic images, three. He beheld one, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Just put this aside. One, two, three. The problem now that I have F and J, three words. Viewed panoramic images or ogled comprehensive photographs. Okay. We have like that to complete the sense to know which one is right. Because here it's talking about comprehensive. Photographs, here only panoramic images. Mr. If we know that the red name. planet is Mars, and we know uh, Dr. Ahmed, Engineer Ziad, Engineer uh, Streamer Adam, is my voice lagging for you? No. No, Mr. Nandi. Check, please. Okay, I'll okay. check the main internet. So as I told you, ogle now means in uh, ogle, as we said, means to glance. Glance means look. And here he said view. Here he said view panoramic images of the red planet or ogle comprehensive photographs. Wait, wait, mister. They are not comprehensive. They are not comprehensive. And it's better to say panoramic images. Because these kind of images are going to take by satellite, not by a camera. So photographs is by a camera. Panoramic images is going to be through the satellite. And you know the red planet, no one arrived to it till now, or if they arrived, so it's going to be panoramic images. Clear, Engineer Omar? Clear. Okay. Number seven, a streamer Adam. Hmm? 
Okay. Okay. Uh, Do you remember so... that we said that we can put any comma before a preposition? Okay? Before a preposition. I think we don't have a problem in punctuation here because no commas at all. The problem is that I need idiom. I need an idiom. Means a word with certain preposition. May you read, please, this part? From uh, the Mars. Okay, you can read from the red planet from here okay. because the 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 one that we answered here. The red planet, uh, courtesy, uh, the Mars Global uh, Survey or satellite. Okay. The problem now that I need a preposition to care. A preposition come after courtesy. Can we say courtesy? Do you know what the meaning of courtesy? No. Anybody know the meaning of courtesy? Mm. Okay. Courtesy is like respectful. The same like respectful. Okay, but here it's a noun. Okay. Here it's a noun. So it's like a respectful behavior, a kind of behavior or allowance, consideration, cooperation. So if you're going to look here, we said courtesy, cooperation, or courtesy, from, courtesy, from, courtesy, of, courtesy, by. Number one I'm going to think about is from. Because it's strong, so A and B are going to be canceled, all right? Mm. The right? I answered B in the exam. Okay. You have to. Why you answer B? But let me go to another thing. Also, I have another idiom. As we said, that this question is idiom question. I have a preposition here. And I have a preposition here. I have two kind of preposition. Do you believe that? If you saw the first one, you have another one. Now, Martin Streamer Eden said that I'm gonna curtsy from. Okay, but why don't why skip A? It's curtsy from also, but curtsy is not gonna come after it from. Believe me, curtsy from a video feed provided of the Mars Global Surveyor Satellite. So it's better to be buy, buy somebody, buy somebody, buy somebody mm -hmm. here. So no, it's not going to be of. Okay. Now let's find. And here also of is going to be wrong. Because here of and here of. Mm -hmm. Is it from or of? Courtesy from or courtesy of? Courtesy come with it of. Clear? Okay. Make sure the uh, Premier Adam clear. Yes. Sir. Okay. Currency of and boy is here. Thank you. Number eight, engineers yet. Let's read number eight. Which of the following uh, alternatives to the alternatives? Alternatives. This to... question repeated twice, huh? To the underlying bro portion. Portion. Portion would not be acceptable. Uh, I need the one that is wrong. I need the one that is wrong. Take care. So let's read here. Read, please. All of the, it. The performance uh, feature uh, addressing on a candlelit stage. It's okay, standard. just wait. The performance is subject. Feature is a verb. So this independent clause. Now let's look at the sentence after. The stage is standing in front uh, of an image of the moon's surface. Wait, wait. So now the performance feature Anderson on a candlelit stage standing in front. Who is standing? Anderson. Who is standing? Anderson. Oh. Because of that, we put comma. Now, let's find which one of these, which one of these 
is going to be wrong. If you're going to look here, if we're going to stage where, yes, a stage where, because the stage is a place where it's a relative close to about place. A stage as she stands is right also. It's going to be independent, independent. Stage, then full stop, independent. Then he writes, she stands, another independent, in front of an image of the moon service. It's right. But this one is wrong. Why he put semicolon? Semicolon only we put it between two independent clauses. Repeated also twice here. Independent, semicolon, independent. Or if we have many commas, we change the main comma to be semicolon. So the answer is going to be J. Clear engineers yet? Yes, yeah, Mr. Okay, Dr. Ahmed again, writing question. At this point, the writer is considering adding the following true sentence. Neil Armstrong was the first man to photograph, uh, to be photographed walking on the moon's surface. Wait, now we need to add the sentence and we need mm -hmm. to decide. Is it going to be important to add it here or not? Let's find the keywords. Here he's talking about a new character. He's not talking about Anderson, the woman. Let's talk about Neil Armstrong. Let's talk about that he's the first man to photograph walking on the moon's surface. Okay, let's read, please, this part and to find out. Does he talk about Neil Armstrong? Talk about to walking on the moon's surface? Read it, please. Uh, from the performance? From drawing. Okay. Drawing on her NASA experiences, Anderson Rotten produced a 90-minute performance. Art piece titled The End of the Moon. The performance features Anderson on a candlelit stage standing in front of an image of the moon's surface. Did he talk about anything related to space? Or he talked about no. a kind of music that is going to be invented by Anderson, the right? Yes, it talks about music. Yes, so A and B is wrong. We're going to choose now between C and D. Here he yeah. said no because the sentence is not relevant to the pattern description and the interpretation of the end of the moon. Because the end of the moon, it's something that is start to be performed or produced and draw. So it's not something that we travel to. D, no, because the sentence is not relevant to the paragraph, the right critique of Anderson's struggle. We didn't talk about his struggle. Clear? Clear. Okay. Engineer Omer, number 10. Okay. Read, please. Uh, Anderson picking the show by... Referencing? Uh, referencing the... Uh, technology? Technology to watch. She was perf uh, pervy at NASA. Okay. If you're going to find here, let's look at the main sentence. As you can find, we have Anderson's sent a subject begins verb. The second sentence, as you can find in all of them, it has to which she was, as we said, bravey at NASA. So another sentence that is the independent. So take care. This independent, I'm sorry. The other one is dependent. Clear? And we know that we have two cases. We have two cases for this one. Whether you're going to put the independent, then the dependent, without any punctuation, or you're going to put the independent, then the dependent, and you're going to put a comma between them. And in these cases, the dependent is going to be not essential. All a relative close. Or a relative close. Here, now we have to set. The end is going to begin the show by refer referencing the technology. Ah, oh, but the problem, wait, mister. I know that this 
is a kind of primitive clothes that we can put a comma here. The problem is that we don't have comma. Can you see? We don't have comma. Okay. Can I say who's answering this? Engineer Omar, the right? Yes. Okay. Can I say to the preposition that after that put comma? No. Why? As we said, to what? To what? So this is a prepositional phrase right now. We need the object. So we can't separate it by a comma. This is wrong. Okay. Can I say to which? Then she was privy. So it's going to be like this. You're going to hear it right now. Anderson begins the show by re referencing the technology to which? At NASA. What this? The dependent must have subject and verb also teacher. Without subject and verb, it's going to be wrong. And now you use the subject and verb. You put it between two commas. That is not essential. So this is also wrong. Okay, what do you think if we put it there? As we said, no comma come before the prepositional phrase. At NASA is prepositional phrase. No comma come before prepositional phrase. So this is also wrong. Clear, Engineer Omar? Engineer Omar, clear? Yes, clear. Okay. Streamer Adam. Yes. Read, please. Anderson then complements these references by subtly demonstrating impact on music. Wait. One of the important things when I start explaining it is the pronouns. And we talked in the academic about pronouns antecedent agreement. Okay, it's for yeah. what? It's for what? Can you find anything in the sentence? Talk about it. Anderson is a woman. Then compliment these references, this plural, so we can't choose it by subtly demonstrating impact on music. How it's music, it would be for it? No. So there is a problem here that we're not going to choose A because no reference, no antecedent. What about ones? The same thing. No, Which one? Which one? Mm. This. The same thing. Where is the antecedent? But technology is now it's clear. Clear? Yes. Okay. Number 12. Engineers yet. It's a kind of writing. Uh, 12. Yes. Which uh, choice provide? The most uh, f vivid description uh, of uh, a Derson action. The care. I need something that clarify a vivid description. Don't tell me shorter is better here. Don't tell me shorter is better. Why? Because we have a goal. What is the goal? To have a vivid description. Like I'm talking and you visualize what is happening. Let's read to find out. Read, please. Uh, 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 Derson. Uh, uh, From sorry. why? Uh, while. Uh, uh, while read all, read all, because we need to. This is a vivid picture or not? Huh? Okay. While sweeping uh, the bow over the string of uh, a viola, Derson. Uh, man, manipul manipulates. Manipulates. Manipulates uh, the music uh, uh, via laptop computer. Okay, wait. Sweeping the bow over the strings of viola. I hear it like a kind of vivid description because he used a lot of imagery here. How he sweep the bow. And now he said strings of viola. So sweep the bow of oh, sweep. Uh-huh. It's something of vivid. Okay, let's look at G. Moving a bow. No, no, no. Sweep is better. Sweep is a kind of clarification. Vivid description. No, no, thank you. Producing mu music. No vivid description. Vivid description that I need to have images on it. Rubbing an instrument with a bow. No. The best thing is sweep. Like you're sweeping the floor. Sweeping the bow over the strings of viola. It gives you a vivid description. Clear engineers yet? Clear. Yeah, okay. Dr. Ahmed. Okay. Uh, number 15, yeah? 
the yes. the writer is considering adding the following no, sentence. No. Here, number thirteen. Where did you go? Okay, sorry. Uh, Anderson manipulates the music no, no, by here. a last the string. The okay. string. The string. Uh, the string music that transforms into electronic sounds, which then vibrate into uh, futuristic other. They vibrate music. into futuristic otherworldly music. Okay. Dr. Ahmed, as you can mm -hmm. find here, we have a subject, yes? The string. Yeah. What is the verb? It transforms. But the transforms with that. Yes. I need the string. I need the verb for the string. Can you find in A any verb here? No. No. Why? Because this verb transformed for that. It's not for the string. Okay, thank you. Now, music is transformed. Can we say that it's transformed the verb for the string? Yeah. Okay. C, music, comma, transforming. Where is the verb? No verb. D, music transforming. Where is the verb? Why can't transforming be a verb? Because transforming can't be a verb without a helping verb. Is transforming, was transforming, has been transforming. Okay. Clear? Then there is no verb. Okay. okay. Yes. 14, Engineer Omer. Mr. You can hear me, Mr. Steve? Yes. Engineer Omer. Yes, Mr. Yes, go on. Number okay. 14. Uh, into like uh, uh, into an electronic result? sound. Oh, okay, the result is serious and uh, no surreal. Surreal means something you can't unbelievable, huh? Uh, and, and me, smiling. How many times? How many what? times? And comes? How many times? Many times, yes? Okay. Yes. So, surreal and I need something like unbelievable. Something unbelievable. Surreal means un believable. Okay. Surreal and Okay, I need an adjective. Then now we have exactly what you might expect from NASA's inaugural artist in Risa, a residence. Okay. If you're going to look at the first one and stimulating exactly, exactly what you might, there is a problem. Because here there is another sentence that has subject and verb. And now what is the connection between them? It's like they are connected. They said the result is surreal and stimulating. Okay. Then what you might expect from NASA in Agro Artists and Residents. So we must have a separation between them. So there is a problem in F. In G, there is colon. Then and. How colon then and? Like and simulating. Colon and? No, it's wrong. Okay. Here stimulating. Okay. It's right. Then you put a dash or the hyphen that what come after it is going to be not, not essential. He delete is exactly. So it's going to be stimulating. Then the dash, what you might expect from NASA and agro artists and residents. So it can be semicolon is completely wrong because the semicolon is going to be between two independent clauses. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Streamer Adam, question 15. Take care, because question 15 is the writing talk about the whole passage. And as I told you before, streamer Adam, in this kind of question, you can't depend on your instinct, because now you know that they are talking about someone that is famous in music, that play violin and do everything. So take care. Read, please. The writer is considering adding the following sentence to the essay. Okay. Here, talking stick, for instance, was a six foot long button that would record and replicate sounds. Okay, now we are talking about talking stick. 
and talking about the characteristics of the talking stick. Clear? Yeah. Let's find. In point A in paragraph one. Let's go to paragraph one quickly and find point A. Where's point A? Yes, here. Read before and after and talk and find. Do we need to put the stick here? Read, please. In 1972, Anderson uh, ignited ignited her career by conducting a symphony using only four horns. Five, Read after. Year, five years later, she invented a violin that Wait, wait. Do we need this stick here? Do we need to mention the stick here? No. No? It doesn't mention anything about it. Yes, he talked mm -hmm. here about the symphony using only car horn. But where is the stick? What the important the stick? Okay, let's look at part B. He said in point B in paragraph one. Point B in paragraph one. Again here. Read before and after. Huh? And the went on, on to stage. stage technology, enhanced performance art, direct music, uh, music videos, and invent tools to manipulate sound. Just it wait. He said to invent what? Tools. Tools. And this kind of tool that he mentioned may be one of them, but let's read after. In 2002, Anderson's uh, fascination, fascination was fascination. Fascination. fascination fascination with technology contributed to her being named the first artist in residence at NASA. Where, huh? she, where he was? Where she was given free when to explore the facilities in search of inspiration. The problem also in facilities in search for inspiration give me a kind of clue that may be the stick. You can put it here. Because it's something of the tool that she used. And even it's going to produce something like in nature. And because of her inspiration, it makes this talking stick to record and replicate sound. So maybe let's look at point C in paragraph one. Can you find C? It's yes, up. here. Okay. It can be because it took about the tools of inspiration. Look here now. She found the inspiration inspiration in how technology has developed over time. Thank you. We can separate because separation here, inspiration here, we can separate them by writing something that doesn't talk about mainly the thing that is talking here. Okay, let's look at the last part, point D in paragraph two. Okay, I think here. Okay, read the sentence before and the sentence after. As the jet propulsion laboratory in Pas Pasadena, California, she was introduced to robots that function autonomously, autonomously through control and sensor processing software. It doesn't mention anything of tools. You just talk about the robots. Okay, let's continue. Mm. Drawing on her NASA experiences, Anderson wrote and produced a 90-minute performance art piece titled The End of the Moon. Again, he doesn't talk about it, so the best answer, as we as we look at in part B, before he took about tools, after he took about the facilities and series of respiration. Clear? Yes. Okay, thank you. Let's go to the second passage. Engineers yet, question 16. Uh, which choice most essential effectively, effectively. Leads, leads the leader from the first sentence of the paragraph to inform that to the uh, information to the information that follows in uh, the rest of the paragraph? The care here we're talking about zebra ID biological barcodes. This is the sentence that we need to look at. And now we need to find this because also I need to look at the sentence after because they are connected. We need something connect to them. May you read, please? 
even uh, every uh, zebra has even unique, though every zebra even though, uh, every zebra has unique ba pattern of uh, blood bold bold stripe on uh, its coat the animal look uh, remarkably alike zebra so now he's talking about just wait now he's talking about the shape of the zebra let's re uh, read here uh, when uh, in his uh, herd when uh, in a, in a herd يعني ما يكون في مجموعة they become uh, mass blended strips uh, right. and uh, similar features uh, that confuses a lion on uh, the hunt aha so now he's talking about when they are together the zebras they make similar features of those kind of stripes that confuse the lion on the hunt if you want to hunt them so let's find the first sentence the sentence here or the choice here does it lead from here to here read please a yes read a i didn't zebras oh okay zebras are uh, will uh, will full animals do you know what they mean willful no willful like hard Okay, stiff. Does it talk here about that they are hard with stiff? No, no. No, let's talk about their color, the right? Yes. No, no, thank you. Let's look at the second one. Observing. Observing zebras in a small group, rather than. Rather. Rather than in a, uh, in a hair might not uh, make difference. No, he said it will make a difference. Because when they are a herd, they become a mass of blended stripes and similar features. So this is wrong. It will make a difference. Let's look at H. Uh, researchers, researchers don't celebrate this about zebras. We didn't talk about the researchers. We are talking about the, those lines help them. Huh? This is helpful to zebras. Uh, how it's helpful because when they wear in a herd, this bl blended stripes and similar feature will confuse the line, so it will be helpful for them. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Ahmed? Okay. Um, where's the beginning of the sentence? Okay. Biologists trying to monitor individual zebras sometimes joke that finding one in the wild typically is easy. It's finding the same one twice is that uh, twice that's hard. Okay, this is an easy question that we repeated many times from the beginning of those questions. Okay. This is independent. This is independent. Dr. Ahmed. So whenever mm -hmm. we have two independent clauses, you can connect them by comma fan voice or semicolon or full stop so what do you think about a a is going to be run on because two sentences that they enter each other so cancel b also is going to be run on with two sentences run on each other here, comma, without conjunction, also run on. So the only one is going to be in the semicolon. Clear, Dr. Ahmed? Here. Okay. Question 18 and Engineer Omer. Engineer Omer, hello. Okay, streamer Adam. Yes. Read, please. Which choice most effectively leads the reader from the preceding paragraph into Take the care. Rest? The preceding paragraph, we talk about the stripes that help the zebra to hide or to be the line. Okay? Let's continue. So we need now information from the preceding and to the rest of the essay. So because of that, we have to read the sentence to know what they are talking about and connect them together. May you read, please? 
Read at first the last part here. Okay. One zebra is assembling, another is not beneficial to researchers. So, biologists uh, trying to mon monitor individual zebras sometimes joke that finding one in the world typically is easy. It's finding the same one twice that's hard. Yes. Okay. So now here, if you're going to find, we have a problem. The right? Mm. Because if they track one of the zebra, they can't find it again. Because all of them look like each other. So what do you think is going to be here, the right one? Working together, scientists at the University of Illinois and Princeton University developed a software program called Stripe Spotter. To help them, which catalog and identify zebra. So here is the how to solve this problem. Can we say working together is better? It can be, but is it better or to solve this problem? Mm. So remember, Adam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which one is better for you? Working together or to solve this problem? Do you want to connect both of them together, as he said here? Hello. I I can't uh, see this one. I might choose. I think both is fine. How both is fine? Take care. I know that working together is gonna modify scientists, but here he told you we need effectively leads the reader from the preceding paragraph. So in the preceding paragraph, we talk about the problem, and here he took how they solve this problem. But make the software called Stripe Spotter, which catalog and identify zippers. So now they solve the problem. So it's better in J. Clear streamer, Adam? Mm -hmm. Okay. In J, because sometimes you're going to shorter, it's better. And I know that you did that. So you choose F. But here is the writing question. No grammar. You need something that connects the previous to what come next. So it's not F because it said work together. If I don't have this one, I'm going to choose working together. But it's better to solve this problem because here is the problem and here how they solve it. Here, he said thinking about how computer science could play a role. No, at all. Aware that biologists enjoy the joke. He didn't talk about the joke as the main thing. I know that he mentioned joke here. But it wasn't the main thing that connected to after that. It's a problem and how they solve it. Clear streamer, Adam? Yes. Engineer Ziad, number 19. Uh, Read. It's the stripe sweater. Uh, stripe Translate. Is the pattern of stripes on a, a zebra side in tune with the fire. Ah, again. We said that we can't bring any comma before the preposition phrase. Is that right? All right. So any comma before... Huh, again, I repeat it many times in this test. If we have prepositional phrase, no comma will come before it. No comma will come before it. So look here. This is wrong. See, it's wrong. Because there is comma. A is wrong because there is comma. Now you have to find. Take care. Is it side into an identifier after the comma or side into an identifier and no comma? Hmm. We know that the right answer is with the comma. Why? Why? Look here at the comma. That after code. Why you put here a comma? Because this is not essential. So, comma before and after. Clear engineers yet? Yeah. So, comma before and after. Dr. Ahmed, number 20. Okay. At this point, the writer is considering adding the following true sentence. Some researchers believe that the stripes on zebras help the animals identify one another in a herd. Just wait. Actually, we are talking about zippers, okay? And we're talking about spotting them, spotting them by using a program called Stripe Spotter. Here he said some researchers believe that the stripes on the zippers 
Help the animals identify one another in a herd. How? Actually, we said that if we spot one, we can find it another time because all of them look like each other. They're right? Yeah. And here it start to mention something called stripe spotter. So it's going to be no. If you're going to look at no here, here it said no because it is not relevant. Yes. To the explanation of the what strives butter and how it works, yes, the right. Let's look at Jane. No, because it does specify why it's important that zebra are able to identify one another. We didn't talk about how zebras identify each other. We're talking about the, how the researcher identified them. Clear? Clear. Okay. Engineer Omar, are you still with me? Engineer Omar, hello. Engineer Omer. I, I don't know if Engineer Omer is still with me or his internet. Okay. Srimer Adam. Vocabulary. Mm. Read, please. Let's take from the beginning. The researcher then crops a rectangular section of the photograph, uh, making sure to the stripes on the zebra side. <laughs> Just wait. It's talking about what? About the photograph. The photograph. The photograph. So we need a word related to the photograph. Okay? So the photograph apprehend or acquire or take. We know that capture or take a picture, the right? Or take a photograph or capture a photograph. So apprehend and acquire are going to be wrong. Here we're talking about, about capturing the stripes that they start appearing. So it's take the stripes, take the stripes, to take the stripes or to capture the stripes. Srimer Adam. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. As I told you, now we need something related to photograph. It's not apprehend or acquire. Now we have take, because we can say take photographs or take picture or capture photographs or capture picture. But now the photograph, to capture the stripes or to take the stripes, which one is better? Capture. Capture. Okay. Capture the stripes. Apprehend means understand. How the photograph will be understand the stripes. Thank you, Strumer. Yeah. Okay, Engineer Omar again. Are you here? Engineer Omar. Engineer Omar. Okay, junior the end. Number 22. Uh, the writer is uh, considering uh, revising the underlying br uh, portion to the following. Take uh, care. He wants to change the underlying portion to be this, this grammar. This grammar, and maybe it has meaning. So you have to be sure about what you're going to read to find the same meaning and no grammar mistakes. Read, please. Uh, given that information is accurate, no, no, here, here. The, Read an the, image. Uh, an image uh, of even black and white lines. Take care. Uh, I need this to be replaced by this. Can it be or not? So let's read the original sentence. Huh? Uh, Read the whole sentence. The right scooter convert. That the, that section into as the, a stark black and white image composed of barrel a vertical line. Can we change this? The sense that you read right now to be scribes put or convert that section into an image of even black and white lines. Uh, yes. How? No, Is it the same uh, meaning? No, Here he said no, a stark, no. stark. And the start, you can find in your mobile. Start black and white image. Compose a parallel vertical line. 
he reset only an image of even black and white lines. He doesn't give you the details about vertical and battle. He didn't give the details about the shape of black and white image. So no, is that clear? Yeah. So let's find here why it's no. No, because the revision lacks the clarity. Yes. It is a star. It is a parallel and vertical. And the specificity of the description of the original wording. Yes. The specific words. You have description. Let's look at the second one. Because the revision suggests that the means through which striped photo creates images are largely unscientific. He didn't talk about that. Clear? Yeah. Okay. Dr. Ahmad, 23. The widths of the lines correspond perfectly to the widths of the zebra stripes. Can we answer this without even looking at the sentence? Uh, shorter is better. No. Correspond, has corresponded, is corresponding, corresponds. All of these are verbs. Correspond is in the plural form. Has, singular, is, singular, corresponds, singular. So what the answer? Plural. Plural. And just to be sure, here he said not the width. He said the width. Plural. Clear? Yeah. Okay. You forgot this rule. When you're answering, I know that you forgot about it. Please take care. If you have old verbs, we're going to find singular and plural. Take the old one out. Engineer Omar. <clears throat> Engineer Omar. Okay. Yes, mister. Yeah, where are you? You slipped? Yes, Engineer Omar. Yes. Where did you go? Good. لا شكلك نمت يا عمر. لا لا. طيب. يلا عمر. The twenty-four. Okay. Uh. The zebras. Uh. Script code. Script code. And uh. And code to. Unique. Unique. Okay, to each animal in much the same uh, way. A fingerprint? Uh, fingerprint is uh, unique. Uh, unique to each person. person. Okay. Now, as we can find that if we're going to take care, we have to work that with ING, providing or resulting in. And we know that the modifier starts in the beginning and then a comma. So it must modify what come after. So providing the zebra stripe code unique. No, it will not modify unique. So thank you. Resulting the zebra stripe code modify unique. No, again, what resulting? Okay. So now we have this is or as. If we're going to use as, it's going to be used as a preposition. At the zebra stripe code. This is, is going to be a complete sentence. Okay, teacher. If we're going to say, this is the zebra stripe code, then there is a comma. So now this independent. Unique to each animal in much the same way a fingerprint is unique to each person. Okay, mister, just wait. Now there is a comma. And we know that the comma is going to be put between independent and modifier. But here we have... A kind in much the same way a fingerprint is unique. It can be a kind of modifier. It can be a kind of modifier to modify the stripe code. Yes, it works. Can I say that as the zebra's stripe code, then comma, unique, the same thing. As resulting in providing, it must modify what come after the comma. And all of these three will not modify what come after the comma that it's unique. Because it must be a noun. And unique is an adjective. Clear? Engineer Omar, clear? I lost him again. Clear, Mr. Okay. Now let's go to streamer Adam. It's easy also. 
Strash Potter has proved so useful that plan okay, to okay. after that, after that, we must have subject and verb. Huh? Mm. That plan to design similar programs for identifying other animals. Okay. Plan here can be a noun or a verb, but we don't know. It's a noun or a verb. If you're going to say it is subject verb, it is developers plan. What this? Can it work? No. Because plan here, it looks like it's a verb. So we don't need subject verb in the beginning. So thank you. I don't need A. Ah, B is completely wrong. We don't have its comma. So yeah. apostrophe, I'm sorry. We don't have its apostrophe. Now, again, can we have its developers? And the apostrophe? No. I need subject verb. No. I need subject verb. And this now is going to be a kind of no subject. Where is the subject? And we can't put a possessive noun with a possessive pronoun with possessive noun. Thank you. So here he said, it's the developers. Yes, it can be the, it can be the subject. Clear? Yes. Okay. Engineers yet. This is engineers yet. Uh, Which rule is this? Uh, I didn't hear. The... Shorter. Sure. Oh, shorter is better. Yes. And why we have to be sure about our answer? If you're gonna look here, he said, Strive Porter has proved to so useful. That it's the developers plan to design similar program for identifying other, other what? Other animals? Okay, it's clear. YG is wrong. It says other animals. Though these programs have not yet been created. How? He said plan to design. Why you're going to plan to design? So we know that they are not created yet. So why you're going to repeat again? Okay, animals through a comparable means. Again, we don't need this. Animals that are not zebras. Also, I don't need this. We need only the stripe spotter is going to be used for zebras. So why you're going to say that they are not for zebras? Clear engineers yet? Clear, Mr. Okay. Let me just make this and go to the reading. Okay, for the reading, as we said, we have two ways. Whether you're going to read only the plural, then you're going to go directly to the question and answer the question that directly states the lines, or you're going to read quickly, skimming, skimming. And it can be by reading the first sentence, the last sentence of each paragraph. Dr. Ahmed, read the plural, please. Yes. Passage A is adapted from the autobiography A Peculiar Treasure by Edna Ferber. Uh, Morris L. Emst A. L. What the? Passage B is adapted from the memoir Pull Me Up, a memoir by Dan Barry. Okay. So the first one, as he said here, passage A, now two passages for the narrative. And we know that the first passage is going to be narrative. Passage A is adapted from. The autobiography means something that is written by the same person. A Peculiar Treasure by Edna Furpo, 1960 by Morris L. Ernest and L. Trustees. Passage B is adapted from the memoir. Also, it's a kind of someone write about his own story. Pull Me Up, a memoir by Dan Barry, 2004 by Dan Barry. Let's go to the first question if we're going to answer like that. Read the first question, Dr. Ahmed. Okay. 
It can reasonably be inferred the passage A is narrated from the point of view of someone who. Thank you. Whenever he said the point of view, we're going to deal with it as a big picture. Read the first paragraph and the last paragraph. And if you don't have time, read the first sentence, the last sentence of the first paragraph and the last paragraph. I need now. It's narrated from the point of view of someone who. Let's go and read, Dr. Ahmed, please. Passage A. Okay. The painting shop and... The printing. Print. Okay. The care. Because if you say the painting, it will give you another meaning down. The printing shop. The printing shop and press room were separated press room from... Press for the... newspaper, okay? Press for news, huh? Were separated from the front office only by a doorway. And the door never was closed. There okay, the let's time. read. Let's no, no. Let's follow the same thing. Like we don't have time, so we're gonna follow now. We read the first sentence. It said the printing shop, the press room. So it's related to newspaper. Let's go to the last sentence. But there is it. So read from here, please. Standing also, there is he. I'm sorry. Just seat. wait. Just wait. There is he. So read from here, Mac. Okay. Mac seldom talked, but sometimes, rarely, he appeared in the front office. A drooping figure with a piece of news by which he had come in some devious way. Standing at the side of the city's editor's desk, he would deliver himself of this information. Looking mild and limply romantic, it always proved to be a bombshell. Okay, thank you. Let's look at the last paragraph. Read the first sentence. In the past 30 years, all sort of ex-newspaper men from Richard Harding Davis to Vincent Sheehan and John Gunther have written about the lure of the reporter's life, the smell of printer's ink, the adventure of reporting. Uh, of reporting. Thank you. The last sentence. From where? Ah, we have but. Let's to take from here. I was. I was once a newspaper man myself. Has come to be a fun phrase. Practically, everyone seems to have been or to have wanted to be a newspaper reporter. I think it's easy right now to tell me. Point of view of what? Let's read, please. Just a moment. Once worked in the newspaper business. In the last sentence, he said, I was <laughs> once a newspaper man. I was yeah. once a newspaper man. It can be. Look at B. Let's see. Uh, recently started a career in the newspaper business. He said, I was once. I was once. Yeah. So how recently? Okay, see? Okay. Is outside the newspaper business and is evaluating the inner workings of various news offices. No, actually, he was inside and he was a newspaper reporter. Okay. Is outside the newspaper businesses and longs to be a reporter. No, he said he was once a reporter. So the answer is easy when we are dealing with it like that. Thank you, Dr. Ahmed. Okay. Engineer Omer, question two. I lost Engineer Omer every time. Engineer Omer. Streamer Adam. Yes. Read number two. Based on passage A, the narrator believes that compared to what goes on in the front office, what goes on in the printing shop and press room is... Okay, just wait. I think we read this part about printing shop and press room here when we're reading a big, about the big picture in the first paragraph. So this actually is inference and function that I have to leave it till the end. But because we read something that relate to printing shop and press room, we need to know. He said, as the narrator believe that compared to what goes on the front office, what goes in the printing shop and press room. Let's go here. I think we read it. Uh -huh. A front office here and printing shop mm -hmm. and press room. So we're going to find the answer here. May you read, please? The printing shop and press room were separated from the front office 
only by a doorway and the door never was closed. There were the type forms and tables, the linotype machine, and new and fearsome invention to me, the small press, the big newspaper press, the boilerplate, the trays of type, all the paraphernalia that goes to make up the heart of a small town newspaper. Okay, so till now we didn't find how the similarity between them. But we're going to find it now. Because the same thing took him out. Huh? The front room. The front uh, room is its head. But without the back room, it could not function or even live. Just wait. So the front room, we the answer is how? The press room. The, and this is the back room. Printing shop and press room is the back room. How? What goes on the printing? Okay, so compared to what goes in the front office, what goes in the printing shop and press room? We need to know what goes on the press. Okay, go on. This is the back part. Huh? Mm. The, and the linotype, linotype. The linotype and the small press went all day. For there, the advertising was set up and printed, as well as handbells, programs, all the odds, and end classified as job printing. Mac, uh -huh. who this domain was the perfect example of the fictional printer. Fictional printer. He had come in years before. His brown hair curled over a mild uh, brow. His limp shirt seemed uh, perennial, but his eye was infallible and few, if any, shriddles. And it was. It uh, I can't see it. It times merit the first. Time, this also description for Mac. I don't care about that. Huh? Sequence. Sequence of Mac's uh, copy. His voice was soft, gentle, drawling, but he was boss of the print shop from the cat to the leader type operator. Mac seldom talked, but sometimes rarely he appeared in the front office, a dropping figure with a piece of news by which he had come in some devious way, standing at the side of the city editor's desk. He would deliver himself of this information, looking wild and limply romantic. It always proved to be a bombshell. Okay, I think the answer now is in that part. Until you talk about. Here until Mac, so from one till twelve, that mm. it's actually hard work happen. From one till twelve. Okay, is more tedious. Do you know the meaning of tedious? No. Anybody know the meaning of tedious, guys? Very boring. Yeah, hard, boring. So. I don't think if they are active, it's going to be boring. Okay. Critically or equal critical, I think he makes the same for both of them. So critical because they are working hard. Okay. Read after that, H. Equally chaotic. Okay. Do you find that it's chaotic, noisy, or something like that? No, I didn't. If there is a kind of fight or they are working hard. Hmm. Okay, so no kais, no disorder, no fighting, no problems. We didn't find no disarrangement, so we can't find. We can't say that this is a kind of chaotic, because even he said that it's order, so no mess. Okay, less regulated. No, because equally chaotic and less regulated, it's equal to each other, so it's equally critical. Clear. Yes. Okay. Engineer Omar, did you return back? Yes, Mr. Why I lost you, Engineer Omar? What? I lost you. When I called you, I called you many times, but you didn't ask me. Uh, okay. Read number three, please. Okay. The narrator of passage A most nearly... Uh, Characterizes. Characterizes. Uh, make a, Mac a, as both. Mac okay, as again. Both. Uh, streamer Adam read the part for Mac. Streamer Adam 
read the part for Mac. It's from here till here. We're in him. We're going to return back, but let me write the lines. It's from 11 till 26. This is the part that talk about Mac. This also is inference and function without mentioning the line. But because actually Dr. Ahmed read, read the first part about big picture, and you know that this is about the first paragraph and last paragraph, so we understand that we're going to find the answer here. So from 12 till 26. I'm going to read it for you, Engineer Omer. I need the characterization for Mac, according to the author. He said, it's from here till here. Mac who ruled this domain with the perfect example. Take care. Perfect example of the fictional printer. He had come in years before. His brown hair curled over mild bro. His lamb shirt seemed burnio. But his eye was infallible. And few, if any, Struggles and a time marred the first sequence of Max copy. His voice was soft, gentle, took care of the description, drawing, but he was boss of the print shop. From the cat to the linotype operator, Max seldom told he's not a talk talkative boy or man, but sometimes rarely he appeared in the front office. So all his time in the printing, Miss. A drooping figure with a piece of news by which he had come in some devious way. Take care of devious way. Standing at the side of the city editor desk, he would deliver himself of this information looking mild and limply romantic. But he wasn't that. Because he said here, it was proved to be a bombshell. A bomb. So if we're going to go here, Engineer Omer, innately talented and professionally incompetent. He didn't say incompetent. He didn't say incompetent at all. Maybe talented. But no one, because he's the boss, from the cat to the linotype print, innately talented, okay, and professionally inexperienced? No. He's ex experienced. Temperately unimposing and professionally inexperienced? Again, he's not inexperienced. He's experienced. Temperately unimposing. Do you know what is unimposing? Do you remember when he said that he never talk? You are with me or not? Yes. When he said that he never talk. Yeah. So he would never uh, interfere. He is not impressive. Okay? He's not the one that one loved him. So unimposing, not impressive and professionally invaluable what about invaluable huh it's easy Some people are going to tell me that not valuable. No. Invaluable means priceless. Like he's so important. Okay? Guys, you are with me? Yes. Invaluable, yeah. when I said that Adam is invaluable, means priceless. Something that I can't bring money to buy him or to get him. Is something that's very important to me. Okay? Okay. And we know that he's professional in this case. Because he's the boss. He knows everything. His work without any mistake. This is what is mentioned there. Price. Less. Okay, number four. Streamer Adam or Engineer Ziad? Engineer Ziad, I think. Engineer Ziad. Uh, number uh, eight. Number four, yes. Four. The last question for passage A, uh, passage one. According? Uh, according to the narrator, passage A, uh, 
मैं कुद सेंशली अबीर इन फ्रंट ऑफ इन फ्रंट ऑफिस इन ओल्ड और टू अगेन ही ब्रोक द सेम पार्ट इन फ्रंट एंड फंक्शन because we read this together this is an easy test huh he said when he appear uh -huh, here max seldom talk but sometimes rarely he appeared in the front office so from line 20 till 26 he appeared only to show information 20 till 26 let's find now in years yet sit up and print advertising no no the front office no kind of printing in it Supervise the linear type of radio, the linear type not in the front office. Chat sees the reporter of having too many errors in their copies, no reporters in the front office. Share newsworthy information with the city editor. This is what was mentioned here. He said that Max Silton took, but sometimes early, he appeared in the front office, drooping figure with a piece of news by which he had come in some devious way, He's standing on the side of the city editor's desk. This is what we mentioned here. Share newsworthy information with the city editor. Clear engineers yet? Yeah, mister. I didn't check this one, but I think that you're going to good good marks in it. Is that right? No one say right or wrong. Is that right? I don't, I don't know about the reading, but 